Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be going over how to both find and kill Valheim's fifth and final boss, Yagloth. There's a couple of tricks to make this fight easier on yourself and perhaps some information you don't already know. So I think this one will be useful even for players that have already killed him. As with all my Valheim videos, I'll try to keep this as short and concise as possible. If you find the video useful, be sure to drop it a like and subscribe to the channel for more Valheim tips and guides just like this one. I also stream on Twitch every day, which is shown on screen now. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's start with your preparation for the Yagloth fight. Yagloth is essentially a big old skeleton that breathes fire at you amongst other fire related attacks, so some of you may already be putting together some of the pieces you can use to your advantage when fighting him. First and foremost, I'd recommend a fire resistance barley wine. You can make the base for this in your cauldron, then transfer it to your fermenter. Keep in mind that one batch produces five barley wines, so you won't need to go overkill on how many you craft here. One batch will do nicely. This will reduce the amount of fire damage you take significantly and make the fight 10 times easier than it would have been. Next up, we'll take a look at weapons of choice. Now, you might assume that black metal weapons being the best in raw stats in Valheim would be your best choice for this fight. So when we decided to fight him, my friend and I did a little bit of a test using another weapon we had a hunch about. I used Porcupine, which is the quote unquote best mace in the game, and my friend took in Frostner, which is made from silver, one tier lower than black metal. Frostner seems to be doing much more damage than I was, and while skill levels can definitely have an effect here, it was pretty obvious that the bonus frost and spirit damage that Frostner provides was making for some big extra damage. With the damage numbers flashing up yellow with every hit, this signified to me that this was hitting critically, whereas I was just hitting with normal white numbers. So if I could recommend one weapon, it would be Frostner. In terms of a bow, Draugafang is your best choice, and coupled with some frost arrows, it can be devastating. I chose to use needle arrows which are statistically the best and again the frost arrows my friend was using were coming out on top due to that all important frost damage. Armor wise I'd keep it simple and recommend the padded armor. Right now there isn't any armor that provides fire resistance so really it just comes down to wearing the best gear you can get your hands on and lastly I'd recommend serpent stew, lox meat pie and either blood pudding for more HP or a fish wrap for more stamina. Whichever you think you'll need more during the fight. These are the best foods that you can get your hands on and since you're already in the plains biome it'll be food that you can actually get at this stage of the game. This is combined with a rested buff which will make the fight even easier for you. Now with all of your prep work out of the way we've actually got to find Yagloth now and in my game we were lucky enough to find the summoning altar before the stone that reveals its location and honestly I think the altar is a lot easier to spot out of the two so we'll cover that first. You're basically looking for a set of stone structures that are designed to look like fingers of a hand coming out of the ground. Right in the center you'll find an altar and for this boss you're going to need five fueling totems which can be found in the fueling camps or can be dropped by the fueling berserkers. The fuelings are no joke so be prepared for a fight on this one. Once you've got those totems pop them into the slots on the altar and hit the central button to summon the boss. The stone that reveals Yagla's location can also be found amongst the fueling villages or structures but seems to be quite rare so you may have to go through a few buildings before you find it. And failing that, just look for the altar. During the fight, Yagloth is going to use three attacks. Two of these are ranged attacks, which either breathe fire in your direction or call down meteors from the sky, which also follow your location. Both of these can be avoided by running to one side or using the pillars that surround the altar to block the attack. But do be aware that the pillars will take damage and eventually won't be much use to you for cover. Be prepared to rotate positions between attacks. The last attack is a ground slam ability which damages everything around Yagloth and surrounds his nearby area with blue flames, setting fire to anyone that enters the area for a good few seconds before it fades away. And as you can tell from these attacks, that barley wine for the extra fire resistance is really going to come in handy here. Once you defeat Yagloth, you can use its trophy at the Sacrificial Stones for an increase in fire resistance, frost resistance, and lightning resistance. Whilst this doesn't have much of a use right now, I can see this being a big bonus in the future when we see the other biomes being populated with more creatures and bosses to fight. That's it from me in this one guys, but I hope this video helps you and good luck in your fight against Yagloth. I'll see you all in the next one.